Hello all, this is Ultimate Prime and this is another video review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Spinning Mace Grimlock from the Transformers Age of Extinction line. Uh, he's one of the power battlers and the power battlers all have a little gimmick. So um, just take a quick look at the box. It says Grimlock here on the front and then it has him using his spinning mace. You also have a picture of Grimlock in his uh, dinosaur mode. You see that there. If you look on the side, you see a little bit more of his body in dinosaur mode. And if you take a look at the back, you see him in robot mode using his spinning mace. You see him in his dinosaur mode here. And you also see that he changes in seven steps. And so that is enough for the packaging. I am going to get them out and get them unboxed and we will see what we have. And here is Grimlock in his dinosaur mode. Now in this mode, he does have some articulation. You can see that his mouth does open and close. The head doesn't really move but his dinosaur arms can go up and down his legs can go back and forth but you have to kind of hold them because it's easy for him to the pe the parts to slip a loose his tail just came off a little bit but you can move his legs back and forward rather loosely because like i said you have to hold him because you see his back wants to flip up and other parts want to come loose but they do have articulation they can bend this way and do the transformation they can even bend forward and back uh, the tail doesn't isn't really supposed to have very much articulation because it's supposed to slide in here but uh there he is and let's do a little front view his mouth open and a side view and there you go. His ankles also do move. I forgot to mention that. His feet can turn and do actually a full 360. Which is, a, which is a little odd because you really don't need that for the transformation. But they just threw that in. So his feet can do a full 360. And there he goes. He doesn't have any gimmicks in this mode or anything, but let's get him transformed and we'll take a look at him in robot mode. Now, to transform in a robot mode, it's pretty simple. The first thing that you want to do is to loosen these legs once again, get them out of the way, and then you want to pull this part of the torso up so that he connects. Then you want to pull his legs down and there you've got the bottom half of him formed you want to turn his waist to the front so that he's facing forward and then you want to pull this arm out and down the bottom of the mouth opens up and the top of the mouth folds in and there you have him in his robot mode now in this mode he does have some articulation his arm can move up and down but doesn't really go too much further than that this arm can do a full 360 you can adjust his mouth and things if you like uh, he does have an elbow bend but it's kind of the gorilla arms so it moves up and down to the left you can't really move it forward uh, his legs can swivel go forward and back they can go in and out, in and out, forward and back. He does have knee bend. Uh, it's not real far, but he can bend his knees. And once again, his feet can do a full 360 turn. And there you go. Now he also does have his gimmick, which is a little switch back here. When you pull this switch, he spins his mace. Uh, it sometimes tends to get stuck up at the top, so 
doesn't always spin the way you'd expect but let's try it again yeah it doesn't seem to want to spin quite right but it kind of spins when it wants to so yeah but I think you get the point it's supposed to his arm is supposed to spin fully around when you push it there he goes And that is his spinning mace attack. All right, so there you have him in robot mode. Now, to get him back into dinosaur mode is fairly simple. You want to turn his waist so that the arm with the head is facing forward. You can go ahead and pull his mouth, um, the top of the mouth down, and pull the bottom of the mouth to close it up. Now, there is a Kind of hinge right here and another joint you want to push these two in until they lock into place then you want to take these legs and get them out of the way and you want to take the body and turn it so that it kind of collapses and then if you come around here you can now pull the legs completely down completely down so that they are facing forward and then this part of the arm has a little hole here and there's a notch here you want to connect those to each other and there he is back in his dinosaur mode so uh, there you go, and that is the review on Spinning Mace Grimlock. Hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe, and I'll have some more reviews coming your way. So until then, have a great day, and I'll catch you later.